So people are saying that Fredo cheated on a girl with a guy. But is it true? Today we're gonna get into all of that. So let's get straight into the drama. By the way, I am in New York, everyone. I bet you people go, you in my city, I wanna fight you. Come do it to me! My camera is not working, so I'm legit filming from my phone. I hope the quality is not bad. I apologize in advance. You like my haircut? I got that American haircut. You know, I look like a cute little lesbian. Okay, so let's get into the Fredo drama, okay? So apparently it was long, long ago. Back in some school or high school. I don't even know. And Fredo was apparently talking to this girl, letting writing little notes to her. We used to write notes in class. Basically, there was this guy that she grew up with who was a cheerleader, right? And allegedly, Fredo was talking to this cheerleader guy, okay? So he likes those ones that are bendy and flexy, I guess. Or who knows, maybe he was big and masculine and Fredo was like, come. Apparently, she confronted him about it. But yeah, at that point, I was like, so you really talking to him? And then he was like, I'm sorry, babe, blah, blah, blah. And from the sounds of it, it looked like it ended. Anyway, years and years has passed. It's 2020. Fredo's like 30 years old now. He's old. He's got a new life. He's had kids. She got some kids. And there is some drama between him and DDG. By the way, if you still want me to do that series on that DDG, him versus Fredo, get this video to 10,000 likes and I'll do it. All this is happening and she randomly tweets on Twitter saying, I dated Alfredo Villa in high school. He left me for a guy. Bitch, He's what? so tough, y'all. We want to ridge community high. So she had stag DDG and at Pontiac May DDG. So obviously she knows what's going on with the drama because why else would she tag DDG? DDG retweeted this, of course, because he wants to take digs at Pretty boy Fredo, he's also taking digs at him. I'm not, I'm, I'm on nobody's side, bro. Okay, you guys are little bitches and you like to pick sides. Both of these hoes are fake to me. Mmm, juicy. This makes everything make sense now. Bitch, what? I think he meant to say sense. I want to hear the rest of y'all's story. Check DM. Pretty boy Fredo saw this obviously and posted it on his Twitter saying, They do anything for clout. Who the F are you? <laughs> and he started retweeting what people were saying like, When they hate don't work, they start telling lies. I really think that is very true for the LA crew. Shark does it and DDG, I, if the crack thing's not true, then they do it too. You know, they have no evidence to prove that. Pretty boy Fredo's on crack, but anyway. And can smell the disease on her. Oh, y'all really have to take it that far. Fredo ended up posting a picture from her OnlyFans saying, Y'all go cop her free OnlyFans for free. DDG ends up tweeting again. All this ish makes sense now. What the F? <laughs> Anyway, Hennessy ends up making a video, and we're gonna react to it right now, so let's do that. Wow. Oh, the baby's so cute. Yes, I did. I heard him in high school. He was one of the guys that was, like, emo. Like, if you even touched him, like, you know the guys that you touched them, then they, like, moan? Type of emo? <laughs> An emo you touch and they moan. What type of emo is that? Call me in. Like, I wanna know. Now, I posted okay so she's saying that she's not clap chasing because she's not accepting money that's interesting let's but i don't know it's just interesting to me because she digs that tag ddg that's my thought process at this moment but we're gonna keep watching and hear what she has to say Ooh, i have a friend named sammy oh my god and I can't get up! Oh my god, sorry guys. Oh, my foot fell asleep and I was trying to like watch at the same time. Okay, I'm gonna keep that in the video. That's just funny. <laughs> <laughs> that ever happened? Your foot's so numb you can't even walk? No parts in it. I'm getting a lot of hate. You don't want no parts. Well, it's a million Sammy's in this world. But yeah. 
Oh, damn, but your friends probably know who Sammy Z is. You feel me? And they're going to be like, yo, your girlfriend talking about you. Anyway. Then he was on the cheerleading team or whatever, and bitch. I didn't really get mad. I mean, that was like my brother. You feel me? Sammy, like my brother. And I talk to him now. Well, of course, since the situation went on, I talked to him. And for your information, no, I haven't met Fredo, mom, dad, cousin, nope, no family. You know, when you have like a relationship that's like based on school, okay, literally based on school. So they had the relationship literally based on school. I, I don't even know what the dude house was like. That's how it was. We did it for about one or two weeks. See, about school relationships, you may have a little heartbreak, but you can easily move on fast. True. I had a girlfriend in high school for like, I don't know, two days yeah. and I broke up with her because her teeth was funny. Bro. I was very immature back then. I obviously, I, I wouldn't care now, you feel me? When you grow older, it's like hard to move on for your loved one. But yeah, at that point, I was like, so you really talking to him? And then he was like, I'm sorry, babe, blah, blah, blah. You feel me? We used to write notes in class. Man, if you want to read, please comment below. Matter of fact, tweet me a yearbook or something. You need to screen record a yearbook. Okay, so she's, she's saying... She's like claiming that this is true and like even challenging people to screen a yearbook. So I'm I'm in New York right now. Tell me what school it is. I'll go and find that yearbook. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I, I ain't gonna do all that. But you should. You should definitely get that yearbook. I'm 24 years old. Look like I'm about 18. She just say she's 28. And I heard of Jasmine, but that school was big. I wasn't really popular. I was in my emo state. I heard about Jasmine or whatever. She was in the emo stage too? Okay, damn, I can't see why Freddie went for her. She's the type that it's, if it's true. She, if she gets cheated on, she'll like cry and blame herself. So like, as I watch her grow or whatever, I'm like, dang, well, she's really a strong girl. Not gonna count, she really strong for that. Jasmine knows that um, Freddie's by. Oh my God! I don't know, this is starting to sound real to me. What do you think? Let me know in the comment section below. The correct term would be bi because, I mean, he has a baby mama, but he dated a damn dude. That's true. If y'all can get the freaking yearbook, we did so much. Like, you know, like in yearbooks when you, um, they take pictures of you in class. It don't even gotta be just, like, class pictures. If y'all get what I'm talking about, like, you could be in the cafeteria. Trust me, you're gonna see me and him in them. Like, I think I'm in, like, two. I know I was a class president. Just because she's in a yearbook though, it does not mean that this situation is true. You feel me? Um, he could be in the same school, etc. But it doesn't necessarily mean that it's real. Back then, cell phones wasn't popular. I'm not trying to say I'm old. But yeah, cell phones wasn't popular at all. True. They it were was my basically days. writing notes and drawing life. This new generation is crazy. But let me tell y'all something before I get to other information. If you can shout my only fans, I can sue you for revenge porn. And I oh. Many that is true. That is true. Because OnlyFans is protected. She probably could sue Fredo and gets a lot of money. Goddamn. Fredo be threatening to sue me in the damn comments he can't do ish. But she can for real. Homosexuality is gay yourself. Home when somebody touching my high school. <laughs> Literally. You want to know one thing about it? The whole situation. He know I can spill tea. That's why he um helped promote my OnlyFans. He was like, y'all gonna follow her OnlyFans thinking that I'm gonna just tell y'all, oh my gosh, y'all, this story is just fraudulent. Like, no, he trying to promote my shit. I gained one. I gained almost 2,000 OnlyFans. But yeah, man. I and you did it for free? Is that true? Uh, like I said, we all had that person that we dated in high school. Maybe it was a week or two weeks, you know, but you didn't even give a fuck about through life. And then I seen that he was famous. I'm like, hold on. Wait a minute, Fredo. Like years ago, I found out that he did YouTube. I'm like, oh my gosh. <laughs> He's not here no more. But at the same time, <laughs> you can't change your um, sexuality. You're wrong. No, 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 I disagree with that. People's sexuality change all the time. Very fluent. One minute you straight, next minute you want to be doing other things. Next minute you into dudes, and next minute you turn into girls. You know, sexuality is very fluent. It's not black and gray like everyone thinks it is. Lesson number one. You can be bi or you can be straight. Now, I feel like he's bisexual now. 
I thought he, he was a straight turn gay. Because if you know Fredo from back then, at high school, you know, that's all I gotta say, you know, people saying I'm capping. I'm just, pull out the freaking yearbook. Matter of fact, I'm gonna try to pull it up online. I don't know if they have anything like that. Ain't no capping about me. Fredo know I'm telling the truth. That's why he helping me make money. And mm. DDG, he's offering me money about this whole situation. And she's not taking it. I don't know. I, I didn't take it, guys, at all. I'm like, I don't want to make money on this. I don't want to seem like, oh, I'm on club. I didn't even expect it to go far. I was just telling my little freaking, um, my little fans on Twitter or whatever <laughs> that, hey, he's back. I mean, hey, he's bi. And then it turned out to be a whole dumpster fight. But I'm speaking the truth. Mm-hmm. And I'm working on getting my freaking, um, other Facebook activated. I should years ago we have my myspace yeah i remember those days bro i used to have a myspace oh my god those days are over that popular old heads know myspace was it hell i'm not even making money on OnlyFans. my only fans is free i put it free why do it oh my god because i don't want money Okay, she really did put it free. That's crazy. There's nothing wrong with wanting money, but damn, for free? Really? Your only fans for free? Oh my god, that is no. God, you You can do whatever you want to do, bro, but if you're gonna put your body out there, you at least get something. Put some stuff. Okay, I'm so tired, guys. Oh, I don't want to bore you with this. I feel like it's a repeat, repeat, repeat. Oh, yeah. Period. You ain't exposing me. Without me. Alright guys, I'm sorry. I cannot watch all this. Whoo, I'm tired. Good night. Good night, everybody. But on a serious note, guys, I'm not saying that this girl is a liar. I'm just saying there is no evidence to really back up her claims. Like, I'm not gonna s I feel like it's it could be real, but at the same time, it could be fake. You know what I'm saying? I don't know this woman off a bar so, but I don't know Fredo of a bar so. Fredo also lies. She could be a liar. I don't know. It's the internet. You can't believe everything you see on the internet. You feel me? you got to question everything and you need to ask for proof. That's what it is. But if she was to show like more than a yearbook messages between them, then that would be something because that will prove that Fredo lied.